So a new MIT study just dropped, and there's some alarming findings for us ChatGPT users. If you're using AI for work or learning, then you're going to want to hear this because researchers hooked up 54 people to brain monitors and discovered something quite shocking. ChatGPT users showed the lowest brain engagement of any group tested. But there is a twist because there's actually a right way to use AI that makes you smarter, not dumber. I'm Elliot, and over the past year, I've been deep diving into AI tools for SEO, marketing, efficiency, but this study has really made me rethink about how I'm using these tools. So by the end of this video, I want you to understand exactly how to leverage AI without turning your brain into mush. Plus, I'll share the three-step framework that this study reveals for using AI the smart way, not the dumb way. So this is the news that MIT's Media Lab divided 54 subjects into three groups to write SAT style essays. Group one used ChatGPT only, group two used Google search only, and group three used their brain only with no tools. They monitored brain activity across 32 regions using EEG technology, while participants wrote essays on topics like the ethics of philanthropy. So these are the shocking results. The chat GPT group showed the lowest brain engagement and produced what teachers called soulless essays. And by essay number three, most had resorted to pure laziness, copy and pasting. They could barely remember their own work afterwards and showed weakened memory processing. The Google search group maintained high brain activity, reported high satisfaction with their work and stayed actively engaged throughout. But the brain only group had the highest neural connectivity, greatest creative markers in alpha, theta and delta waves, and most ownership and satisfaction of their work. And things get a little scarier when ChatGPT users were asked to rewrite their essays without AI, they could barely remember what they'd written. The AI had completely bypassed their memory networks. But before we go any further, there is a little hope for us ChatGPTers. When the brain only group was later given access to ChatGPT, something amazing happened. They showed enhanced performance and increased brain connectivity across all frequency brands. The difference, they thought first and then used AI to amplify their ideas. And to be honest, based on this study and my own experience, the results aren't necessarily that shocking. With AI tools, it's really easy to get lazy. So you need to learn how to use AI without destroying your critical thinking, which this study and I like to call the think first framework. So how can you do this? Step one, brain dump for two or five or 10 minutes. Always start with your own thoughts, write out your initial ideas, even if they're rough, and then use them with AI. So think about what you already know on a subject, what ideas you already have, and sort of prime your neural pathways for this active engagement before engaging with AI. Step two, strategic AI collaboration. Use AI to expand your ideas, not replace them. Ask specific questions like, how could I improve this argument? How could I improve these ideas? How could I make this flow better with my ideas? How, the, how can I relate them to this subject better? Instead of just write me an essay about X, Y, and Z, treat AI like your research assistant, not a ghostwriter. Even if you had a human ghostwriter, you would still unlock ideas in your brain, give them context, give them your knowledge to work with, not just have them write from cold like you try to get chat GPT with. Either way, if you're not giving context and your ideas and your thoughts from your brain, the end result is going to be low quality and soulless. Step three is integration and ownership. Always edit and personalize the AI output. Ask yourselves, do I agree with this? Add your own past examples, stories, insights, and make it sound like you. So for example, if I'm making a YouTube video and I'm using AI to help me piece together my ideas, I'll probably brain dump my ideas into AI. Say, I've got this, this, and this. Is there anything missing? How can I link them together with a nice flow? I'll add some of my own personal stories, case studies in there to start building out whether it's a YouTube script or a longer form piece of content, I'll help AI expand and blend things together for me rather than come up with all the answers. If I just ask it for ideas for content, they usually come out pretty dry and the same as every other content creator. Or if I'm trying to write hooks and introductions, again, the stuff that AI comes up with, if I'm asking it, if I'm asking it to write, help write hooks and introductions, I'll rarely just pull stuff straight out of ChatGPT. I'll take ideas and I'll rewrite them or reword them in my own way, because otherwise I just sound like every other creator or I come off pretty soulless, which just doesn't sound like me. So you want to use AI as an efficiency link from your starting point to your end point, rather than getting it to do the whole job. And I know people will watch this video and read these articles and think, 
uh, AI is for lazy people. AI is the enemy. It's lazy thinking. Well, it doesn't have to be. If you use more of a think first framework and implement AI later, then you're going to stay away from these warning signs and these brain mush, and you're going to be able to keep exercising your brain and keep using your critical thinking while getting the benefits and the best out of these AI tools. And speaking of AI tools, I've been testing dozens of them for SEO and marketing over the last year. And if you want to see which ones actually enhance your thinking versus replace it, then check out this video where I break down nine AI tools that make you 471% more efficient without turning your brain into mush.